a jolly boys outing. We're off. Uh, we're at Fulso. It's an industrial estate. We're off to pick some up. I'm quite excited. We just been meeting Slater, uh, PSE Engineering, in his uh, fab shop. Shop. We just look at this beast. What? How old is it? Oh, it'll be probably thick into 20 years old, well, the saw would think. Yeah, we've, had, we've owned it probably 15. It's just an animal, like, and it cut, cut bits of steel like this. What will that go for, then, Chef? Just... Yeah, that'll be a building, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It'll be marvellous, yeah. 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 And what's over there? You've got a laser, bit. Yeah, yeah, that's, no, that's plasma a, that's cut. a plasma cut, so it's a nine metre uh, plasma cut, so it'll cut up to 30 mil plate. Oh, will it? So, yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, We're heading off to see lasers, so always excited, aren't you? Yeah, they use that plant now since the power laser in, so. Yeah. So, mainline of your work is buildings, is it, or anything? In here, in here, it's mainly. Heavy so, steel? Subcontract structural steel work, yeah. We, we basically fabricate steel for other people. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, Pete Slayer Engineering at Full Sun, give him a shout if you want out next. Yeah. Well, let's have a look. This is an automatic drilling machine, he just puts bloody steel in it and uh, stops it at a certain place with these lasers and drills holes. It's got five tools in it at the moment and it just keeps drilling different holes in. Hey, up. All right. Does it load steel itself? It moves in itself. Oh, I see it. And it references it, yeah. So, so what's that going to be? I don't know. It's a bit <laughs> savage, isn't it? Yeah, I can do it. So what's it cutting? So, what's that steel going to be? I don't know, what is it steel? Six mil. Six mil. It'll be fitting yeah, for, uh, well, for a job for a customer, so... Oh, just got it moving through with people, so... To do a check. Pizzas, uh, gets orders yeah. and sometimes you don't even know what these bits come out of this machine don't even know what they are like well, that's just doing a reference now just to, to find the corner of the plate it's oh, it, it sort of draws it before it's, 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 out it's it. just getting orientation of plates so you don't, oh, all right, you don't have the plates on their level it'll find out whether the plate is sat at an angle now when he presses go, it's going to go oh, just cut in the nose. But it's clean, isn't it? Oh, it's very clean, yes. So that's just six mil mile sleeve it's cutting there. What can it cut? It cut up to 25 mil. And what, with the same head or do you have to put Same head, different, use different nozzles. Well, thin this could be good for really fast, but it's And then, do you have to manually change nozzles then? Yeah. yeah. But yeah. it's literally it's just a screw out, screw in, dead easy. But well, you don't know what it's doing at the minute? I, don't, I know what they are now, I've seen it starting to is it? They're, a finger, they're finger packs of them. So they'll, be for, um, they'll be for a customer who's probably it'll be for a structural steel job. And they will. There'll be spaces when a building goes together, if they're, they're built slightly on the sides, it's going into an existing spot. Oh, I see, they'll yeah, build, I see. They'll build the beam short, then they'll slot in around the bolts to bridge the gap. Right. So what's called a finger packer. If you look on me, you should be able to. What, um, the bottom bit, you know what it's actually cutting on? Yeah. How, how often is that destroyed then? Well, we clean them a couple, maybe a couple of times a week, probably replace them every three weeks, three to four weeks. But well, this thing's cutting like. Yeah, but what is it made there? out of? It must so, get. It must get. Here. It should be. Oh, so it's just tin? Yeah. But the, so the laser cool. catches that and destroys it? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a, they're, they're sacrificial, you know. Oh, so yeah. They're, well, they're, they're, they're boxy, not been in as long as the ones in the other bit. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay, that's fine. Alright, okay. There's our new trailer. Pete will either build you a new one, or I presume you're going to build a body for that, are you? We are, yep. That'll be an odd trailer, that'll be yeah, a what? Be... 90s? Yeah, yeah it's mid 90s, I think. Yeah. yeah. But chassis is absolutely fine. Yeah, it's shappy, yeah, all on. Yeah. 
Probably we'll Arrowa we'll yeah. commercials. Yeah, we'll blast, we'll blast them for and sitting. Yeah. yeah. That's an eye lift, is it for peas? That's an eye lift, that's an eye lift, it's just been in for... Thanks, Ray. Is that for P that, job? It's P job. It's a 14 tonner, is that? 14 tonne I lift for HMC over in uh, Lincolnshire. Yeah. So uh, it's just been back for service. It's three years old, is that? Is it? Oh, she's tidy. Yes. Just proves he does put a bit of paint on them. He's just said this is up to Tasmania, which is, uh, you'll be on YouTube, lads, if you don't mind. How did he get, how did he land that order? We've had a, we've had a few of them. Have you? Go back to Derek's, Derek's connections early on. P community is a very tight community though, it's the all, even oh. that far away, they're still, they're, they're oh, they're still no they're, they're, they're P season, you know, oh, early, early January they start with June over here. Yeah. So they're, our some of our lads will be over there to, to watch their pee harvest. And where, will you have to organise getting this no, they to... Are. They're, oh. they're, yeah, they're doing that, yeah. And roll it on a ferry, uh, roll it on a ship yeah. and away it goes? Yeah. Yeah. Good deal. 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 Is that through DRT then? Yeah, it's all, this is all DRT in here now, yeah. That's all in tank, isn't it, for slurry? It is, yeah. Yeah. That's tons. a big one, isn't it? Yeah, all eight tonne, yeah. What will it, what will it weigh? Empty? Uh, it's about... Oh, nine, nine, big, oh, nice nine, tank. Nine, yeah, nine, yeah. Nine, 80 nine, tonne. Nine, 80 nine, cubed then, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's that off? That is a monster, isn't it? Is that a black lantern? Yeah, there's some big slurry jobs, isn't <laughs> yeah, there? What? Yeah, this, they'll yeah. just swallow yeah. it up like now. Yeah. I only know one person around here. And this is one sort of half built. What's that? For? Is that a 16 That's tonner? A 16 tonner, just started, just started to body it, yep. Six mil floor, isn't it? Five mil floor, oh, for, four mil sides. Yeah. yeah. Or you can opt for standard, heavier yeah. floor. Lights work anyway. Yeah, we bought an eight-tonner eight in. Yes, 
when was it? Eight something, about 87, something like that, just before I left school. And uh, that's the last new trail that we've had on our uh, farm. So yeah, we're closed. Just up to uh, pay for it now. We've got an invoice for it. Yeah, that was on invoice for ages ago, but we ordered it a year ago. But, did, but don't be put off if you want a DRT trailer, because Pete's a real good mate of mine, and he kept saying that, oh, are you alright, because I've got another order, and the put us back a bit, and we managed, we managed with what we had, so there was no problem, you know. So the two uh, of his trailers in there? Yeah, two of his trailers there. Oh, he's got a lot of trailers around here. I think, I've looked, I've looked, tra I've looked, I've studied trailers for a fortnight. And I looked at the uh, competition, I don't think the wells are perfect. The, the engine, he's an engineer, I mean he knows what's good and what's bad, he doesn't just throw them together. And they aren't saying such as your other makes throw them together, but these are well built. And they are just blowing smoke up Pete's ass because he builds a good product. Get through to get to full sun where P Pete's engine PSC engineering is, uh, we have to go through Tamp. And uh, yeah, so you get frowned upon if you go through Tamp with, uh, with a tractor. We're thinking uh, everybody's looking at our new trailer, no one's really batting an eyelid, he's just sort of making a lot of noise, getting in there away. Yeah, no one, no one cares. No one cares, they're about the rural community. Well, it ain't a rural community, is it? We used to know everybody in this area when we were kids. They've built everywhere on our uh, local town. And we sort of, well, oh, we've got oh, Brexit are key. Um, we don't know anybody now. Well, we do. But there's a lot of strange faces. Wish things changed, don't they? Fancy houses that built a back in town. A million pounders, I think, are they? Yeah. Private. Private estates. Only Ford stage rams because we've got another one. We've got our big wall is on five stage rams, but the top stage is very, very fragile. I've, I've always looked at them thinking they're strong enough. We're getting something new though, because it's like the first one to bend it or buckle it or scratch it. Dare you catch bloody pillars backing it into the shed? Sold our six metre power. Pillar's been for half of it. He's took uh, half of it away, the A-frame and one of the uh, three metre units. So that's gone, so yeah. He's cleaning the yard up for Christmas. He's got a load of slop. In fact, he's put too much in, and we're worried that if I break hard, it's going to call all come off juicy stuff. It's come off, going to come off at the cab. So yeah, we're just tidying up for Christmas. Bit. <laughs>